Hi, Stories Recapped here. Today I'm going to explain about a romantic drama film called Midnight Sun, spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with the protagonist, Katie Price, as she remembers and she used to listen to her mother play guitar when she was young. Unfortunately, she cannot do that anymore because her mother is dead and Katie herself cannot go out anymore because she has xeroderma pigmentosum. A disease that causes severe sensitivity to the sun, which can lead those who suffer XP to brain damage or skin cancer. This forces Katie to remain indoors in a house with special sun-blocking windows together with her father, Jack. Although most kids tease her, even calling her a vampire, Katie has a best friend named Morgan who visits her at night. As she lives her routine life, she notices a boy passes her house and falls in love. Watching him becomes part of her routine of sleeping all day and playing music all night. Although she likes her life, she is still eager to pursue her dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. Time flies by and suddenly, it's graduation season. Katie, who is homeschooled, so she holds her graduation ceremony with Jack. Jax gives Katie her mother's guitar as a graduation present. Katie loves it. Jack leaves her to get some rest, so she plays the guitar till she falls asleep. Some hours later, she wakes up and notices a party next door, which makes her sad. Katie then asks Jack if she can go play her guitar at the train station tonight. Jack is reluctant but, he eventually caves after Katie begs relentlessly. Meanwhile, Katie's crush, Charlie Reed, somberly drinks a beer at a party at the beach. His friends try to cheer him up, but Charlie is too sad about losing his free ride to Berkeley. Moments later, Zoe Carmichael, a classmate, tries to flirt with Charlie but she accidentally hits his surgically repaired shoulder. After apologizing, she invites him to her graduating party before leaving. Although Charlie's friends try to convince him to attend, Charlie declines because he isn't feeling it. Sometime later, Katie arrives at the train station and starts singing. Charlie, who is heading home, overhears her. He goes to her and tries to talk to her, but Katie freaks out and packs up. Charlie tries to stop Katie, but she lies that she has to rush home to plan her cat's funeral. After she leaves, Charlie notices that Katie forgot her notebook. In the next scene, Jack meets with Katie's doctor, Dr. Fleming, and reports that Katie is doing well. Fleming reminds Jack that he has to make sure that Katie is never exposed to the sun, before telling Jack that the experimental trials being worked on in the University of Washington is going slowly so Jack shouldn't keep his hopes up. Jack chooses to stay optimistic, meanwhile, back at home, after Morgan makes fun of Katie for spazzing, Katie realizes she forgot her book at the train station. She convinces Morgan to help her go back to the train station and retrieve it. Later on, Morgan finds Charlie waiting at the train station with the book. Morgan tries to take it from him, but Charlie insists on returning the book himself. Morgan decides to text Katie and tell her that the book is with an attendant at the station so Katie goes to retrieve it. She is appalled to find Charlie so she calls Morgan, who is at work. Although Katie is reluctant to meet Charlie, Morgan convinces her to talk to Charlie, because she knows Charlie likes Katie. Katie gathers her courage and talks to Charlie. Charlie returns the book. Although he went through it, he compliments Katie for still writing, before offering to escort her home. On the way home, Charlie realizes that he has skated past Katie's house every day. Katie doesn't reveal that she knows this or that he is her crush. Charlie asks her if they could go out sometime. Katie tells him she is busy during the day, but she can hang out at night but doesn't reveal she has XP. She asks Charlie for his number, but Charlie had already written it in the notebook. Later on, Katie tells Morgan that although she didn't tell Charlie about her XP, she'll probably tell him if she ever sees him. Morgan tells Katie to invite Charlie to a party, Garver, Morgan's colleague she hates, is throwing as an opportunity for Katie and Charlie to meet. After inviting Charlie, the girls convince Jack to let them go. Sometime later, the girls attend the party, but it's a bust. Morgan tries to leave, but Charlie arrives, Garver reveals that Zoe is having her party that night as well, 
so Charlie takes them there. Zoe lets them in when Charlie offers her Garber's keg. Katie and Charlie find themselves alone, but they are soon joined by Charlie's friends who reveal she must be something special to make Charlie enjoy a party. Zoe tries to take Charlie away from Katie, but Charlie doesn't let go, the party is tons of fun. As Morgan makes out with Garver in secret, Katie and Charlie dance, before almost kissing on the dance floor but are interrupted by an excited Garver. Following the interruption, Katie and Charlie leave the party. At the docks, Charlie reveals that he lost his swimming scholarship because he injured himself goofing around with his friends. Katie shows Charlie her dead mother's watch before Charlie shows her a boat which he has been taking care of during the summer. He offers to take her on the boat and watch the sunrise, but Katie still doesn't reveal her XP. Instead, they kiss. Later on, as Charlie drops Katie off, they make plans to meet tomorrow night. As she leaves, Katie chokes, instead of revealing her XP, she tells Charlie she doesn't really have a cat. Almost had us there. Later on, after Morgan reveals she has been seeing Garver, Katie asks her if she can use her as an excuse to see Charlie tomorrow. Sometime later, Katie tries to lie to Jack about the date, but confesses about the date with Charlie before she leaves. Jack wants Katie to tell Charlie about her XP, so Katie promises to do so when Charlie sees her more than just a disease. Charlie and Katie go on the date and become closer over time. One night, Charlie reveals that the Berkeley coach offered to give him a tryout, but Charlie is reluctant because he has to get back to full fitness. Katie tells him he can do it. Charlie tells Katie he wants to take her on a real date, but Katie asks her to meet Jack first. Later on, Charlie meets Jack. Although Jack messes with Charlie, the meeting goes well. Katie joins them before Katie and Charlie head out on their date. They take the train to Seattle and on the journey, Charlie wonders how they had never met before. Katie doesn't tell him about her XP before they arrive at their destination. Once in Seattle, Charlie takes Katie to her first concert. After the concert, Charlie delivers another surprise, he convinces Katie to perform live on the street. Although Katie is nervous, she knocks the performance out of the park. Later that night, Katie convinces Charlie to go skinny dipping before cuddling beside a fire. Charlie reveals that, after the surgery, he didn't know who he was and felt all people saw him as only a swimmer. Charlie tells her that he is not just a swimmer, but he is also not someone who doesn't try. He must do everything he can today and then, decide because our present is all that matters. Following this, they kiss before Charlie reveals that the sun is coming up soon. Katie freaks out when she realizes her watch is dead and Charlie is right. She also realizes that she has received multiple messages from Jack asking for her whereabouts. Freaking out, she frantically packs up her things before racing off. Charlie who is frightened at Katie's sudden change in behavior, speedily drives her home. Katie rushes inside just as the sun rises. They are joined by Jack and Morgan, who tells Jack of Katie's XP. Sometime later, Jack and Morgan accompany Katie to the hospital. As Katie goes to see Fleming, Morgan tries to convince Jack that Katie will be okay, but she hugs Garver when he turns up. Later on, after Fleming examines Katie, she reveals that the sunlight exposure was minimal, but they have to wait for the results to see if she's really okay. They need to watch out for any symptoms like muscle spasms. As Charlie researches XP for himself at home, Jack asks Fleming about the Washington research. Fleming tells him she has no news on that. Over time, Charlie tries to reach Katie, but Katie ignores him. Morgan tries to convince Katie to talk to Charlie, but Katie insists it's Charlie's good that she ignores him. Katie tries to play her guitar, but is too torn up to continue. Sometime later, Fleming visits Jack and informs him that Katie's XP has taken a turn for the worse. Even worse, the study at Washington has shut down due to lack of funding. A distraught Jack regrets that he prevented Charlie from having a more fulfilling life because of XP, but Fleming convinces Jack he did the best thing, and that, he is a good father. 
Over time, Katie's illness gets worse, and she begins showing symptoms. Katie tries to create a dating website for Jack, but Jack is reluctant. Katie urges him to do it because she doesn't want him to be alone when she dies. After her pleas, Jack finally agrees, and they hug tearfully. Later on, as the prices watch baseball, Charlie turns up at the door. Charlie convinces a shocked Katie to see Jack because they deserve each other. Katie apologizes for not telling Charlie about the XP. She tries to break up with him, but Charlie convinces her to stay with him so that they can have the best summer of their lives. Sometime later, Katie watches as Charlie wins a swim meet. After the race, Jack congratulates Charlie on his win before Charlie asks if he can take Katie out tomorrow night. Jack agrees. The next night, Charlie takes Katie to a studio to record her song. Although Katie is reluctant, Charlie convinces her to chase her dreams just as she convinces him to chase his. She records the song and it's a hit. Sometime later, Charlie and Kate hang out in Charlie's truck. Kate reveals that she had watched Charlie her whole life from her room and that watching him was the best part of her day. Following this, they declare their love for each other. Sometime later, after realizing that Charlie is about to give up the boat he's been taking care of, Katie asks to go out on the boat during the day with Charlie. Although this is a daunting request, Jack accedes. The next day, Katie goes out in the open on the docks with her family and friends. It is a heart-wrenching event as Katie finally spends a day in the sun. Sometime later, Katie's family and friends mourn in the aftermath of Katie's death. Sometime later, Charlie visits Jack Wright before he heads to Berkeley. Before he leaves, Jack reveals that it was Jackie that convinced a coach from Berkeley to give Charlie another shot. Jack then gives Charlie Katie's notebook. Charlie apologizes for exposing Katie to the sun, but Jack thanks him for making Katie happy. Following this, Jack bids Charlie farewell. As Charlie heads out, Katie's song pops up on the radio. As Morgan and Garver settle in their college dorms, Jack ecstatically listens to Katie's song. In the final scene, Charlie reads Katie's note to him in the book and tells him she loved every moment she had with him and tells him she will always be watching out for him from the stars because she loves him. The moral of the story here is to go after what you want and seize it today. Do not deny yourself because of your fears or your weaknesses as today could be your last day. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.